I'm going through changing the ignition coil on a Powermore 140cc engine. Uh, this is a Yard Machines, but I know it's the same for the uh, Troy Built PB105. Um, you're just going to need preferably a 10 millimeter deep. Impact driver is nice, but you don't need to. And then some, some feeler gauges. There's three 10 millimeter nuts up here. I'll zip these off on the recoil. the recoil up and just let it let it hang up there then this whole thing just pops up and out of the way just set your gas tank aside make sure it doesn't leak or anything and then we have two bolts here to hold on the ignition coil when I before I took this apart I checked the, the air gap between the flywheel and the coil and it was 10 thousandths, and I used this brass one. And uh, so 10 thousandths is what I'm going with. I couldn't find a spec, but that's what I'm gonna go with. So this is where the deep socket comes in nice for this one, it's kind of like a stud. Zip that off. Rip off the other bolt. And then you're gonna pull off your spark plug. Right there spark plug wire and then this uh, for your kill circuit pull off this connector and that's it there's your coil I'm going to try to get you the part number that's the bad one and this one here is a good one it's used but it's actually the one out of this if you saw my other video um, I was swapping coils between this one and another machine that wasn't running right. But anyway, this is the original coil for this machine. Okay, now we're going to put the new one back on. I'm going to rotate the magnets out of the way. You can see the magnets are just embedded flush in the flywheel. I'm just getting them out of the way. Uh, this, the plane bolt goes in the back. Start it by hand really good and then get it close, but still leave it loose. Same with this one, leave it loose, get it close. And then what I did was I put my brass feeler gauge, the 10 thousandths, right in there, and then I Kind of snug that one up, and then I come back around to this side, push inward with the feeler gauge in there, 10 thousandths, and then I go back to the first side, and tighten that bolt. So double check it. It's pretty good, and then you want to turn it manually to make sure nothing's hitting. Looks good. So then uh, plug in your this little black wire to the kill circuit, and put your spark plug wire back on. Okay, once you've got your bolts tight, your gap is correct. All you got to do is swing the um, gas tank back over. Just kind of stretch the fuel lines, kind of holding you back. So you just gotta. Just move it around. It'll should just set in really nice like that. And then you grab your recoil. Put it on there the way it went. You can see where the rope goes. And then uh, just wiggle it around. It's not seating on there, so sometimes you just gotta pull the rope a little bit until it catches on there. There. You know you're flush when you're Bolts are sticking up and um, that little crush sleeve is flush with the top of the plastic. Just get them on there hand tight. There's two of them. Snug those up, don't go crazy, this is plastic. 
does have a crush sleeve, but still, you don't, you don't need to be a caveman. And that's it. You've successfully changed your coil in your Powermore 140cc engine.